Hey everyone, my name's Kurt, and welcome to the Penmaker Chronicles, week one. Uh, this is a video series that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and it's going to be the process of me taking an idea, in this case a pen, and moving it right from the idea stage all the way to a sellable unit. Um, for a while I was struggling trying to figure out what I wanted to do this with, what product I wanted to make, and I decided it'd be best to make something that I want and something that I really like. And I really like pens. Uh, a few years back I had made this pen, and this was just as I was starting to learn how to use a lathe and uh, starting to learn how to do machining. And while it's good and I very much like it and I'll always love it because this is the first pen I ever made, there's a million things wrong with it. Um, this was made from unhardened tool steel, and I just made it to fit the cartridge of a pen that I like to use, which is a Zebra F701. It's a very inexpensive pen, but it writes incredibly well. Um, so I built it to fit that cartridge, and I even used the uh, pocket clip off of the, the old pen and carried this with me, and it was great. The only thing I didn't like about it was it didn't have a cap, so all my pants have on my left pocket are black because it slowly would leak ink out into the pocket and I didn't like it that it was made out of a material that would rust so if I use this every day which I did it was fine it stayed rust free from the oil of your hands rubbing all over it but if I let it sit on my nightstand for a week or two you'd start to get surface rust built up on it so I decided I wanted to take what I learned from this pen and make a better unit something that wouldn't require weekly oilings so I came up with this and I'm going to call this the Mark I. Super original, I know, but I like it. <laughs> um, this one is made from C360 brass and aluminum, and it's pretty much exactly the same as the other pen, the only difference being it has a cap. And the cap even posts. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to have that feature in the final pen, um, as I find when I take the cap off the end, I usually don't put it back on the pen, I usually just put it on my desk and write with it. And I also don't like the look of when it's sealed up. I, I don't like the, the threads on the top. Um, it looks nice and clean when it's when it's just one piece like that. So I don't know. I, I have to decide on that yet. At the end I like. I made it a nice chunky end and it goes fine to the tip. And uh, it's a great pen. I've carried this now for a couple weeks in my pocket and I, I use it pretty much every day and it writes great and it's got a perfect amount of heft. It's not too heavy, but it's it's nice and uh, nice and solid. And um, so we're gonna build these. So when I started making this pen, I wrote down every single step as I progressed through it, so that when I wanted to do this, which is make a little production run, I could follow my steps. And I'm gonna change things along the way, like I said, we'll change that threading probably. Um, but I have the, the general layout started, so I know how much material I have to buy. I know how much I have to cut. I, I know everything. Uh, close to what I need to do to uh, to make another one of these. Um, so tonight we're going to be taking just these rough sawn pieces of brass, which I just cut cut with a hacksaw, um, and I cut them about 50 thou big. And I didn't care about the angle or anything. I just roughly chopped them where I wanted them, and then I chuck them all into the lathe, and I face the ends down nice and smooth and I make them down to the size I need them and that way I can do all my referencing off this part because I know it's exact length so now I get to go through and face down all the other pieces so we'll just face down the edge here just advance the cut into it back it off, lock the carriage we're not even remotely in line so here I've knocked down the corners on the part and got the faces eh, roughly square, enough to get a measurement off them anyways. And this one I need to reduce this part size down about another 39 thousandths of an inch. Um, but my carriage is just on a rack setup, so I really have no idea how far I'm moving it and I don't have a DRO or anything on it. So what I use is I take my dial indicator off here and on the back of my dial indicator I mounted this little uh, uh, a bushing piece of steel with a little knurled screw on it and with that I can set that on my depth stop for my carriage back it off at least normally I can set it on the depth stop there we go. 
and then this pin, when the carriage comes in, will hit it, and then I can register on the dial indicator and turn in how much I want to cut off. So we'll bring this back, we'll run the tool, touch off on the part, lock the carriage, I'll bring the dial indicator to zero, like that. And now I know I need to turn down another 39 and a half thou. So I can unlock the carriage, I don't scratch anything, take 20 thou pass. Just break the burr so I don't catch it on my fingers. Pop the part out. And if math has not failed me, we should be good here. Close. There, that'll work. Sitting about a thou, or uh, yeah, about a thou over, which is more than close enough since we have more steps left in the process here, so. That's one, a bushel more to go. So tonight we finished cutting down all the rough cuts to our final machining size. Uh, this way I can just use both sides as references because now I know exactly how big this slug is. I cut one body out of aluminum as well. Um, I haven't cut caps yet because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the caps, but um, I did one out of aluminum just to see what it's like. It's a little bit bigger dimension or bigger diameter than the brass. It's because it's obviously meant for the grip. Uh, we can turn it down, that's not a problem, but I don't know, it, it might produce a nice pen. I think it's going to be too light, but it, it might turn out nice as well, so we'll try it. Um, this is just the beta run, like I said, there's only about four or five pens in brass I'm going to do, and maybe one or two in aluminum. Um, I also titled this, started this video week one. Episode one would be a better title. I've kind of put myself under a deadline of having this finished by February, is when I'd like to have it done. And along with machining the pen, I also have to machine the cases. And I'm going to make the cases, um, I'll probably CNC cut the cases out of walnut. And that way the pen has a nice thing to ship in, and it looks pretty, and it lets me play with more of my tools. So, uh, that's all guys, and girls. <laughs> uh, if you like what you saw, please subscribe, it helps me a bunch. And other than that, thanks for watching.